You would like to get into the topic of digital window projection for Halloween or the Christmas season? Or do you already use such projections? Then stay tuned because today I am going to test different materials for you that you can use as a projection surface on the window. And so welcome to Old School Hunter with a great test of materials for window projections. Digital window decorations are very popular and besides the projector and the videos, the projection surface plays an important role. But why is that? Projecting videos in a window alone doesn't bring great success because the light of the projector simply passes through the glass. Thus, there will be no image on the window and your visitors will not be impressed. To get the image on the window, you need a projection surface. For this, different materials can be used but in the end, they can bring different results. Therefore, I looked at different materials for you which I consider usable and perform a test run. Light transmission, color and the nature of the material itself plays an important role. So that you know what to expect in this video, here's a short structure. First, I show you the test setup so you know how I perform the tests. Then I introduce you to the materials and test them using the videos and the picture. And at the end there will be a short summary of the test series. The videos I use for testing are from Atmos FX and I've linked them together with the materials down in the description. A short note before we start. All materials that I will show you I bought myself. This means there is no sponsoring from mentioned companies or brands. And with that we can start and I'll show you the test setup first. To make the test less lab-like, I came up with the following scenario. I use the triple window whereby only the middle window is interesting for the projections. Therefore I covered the two outer ones. So the projection material is always attached to the middle window. The projector I use for this test is the ViewSonic M2E. With 1000 LED lumens or 400 ANSI lumens, it is certainly not the most powerful projector, but it is quite suitable for window projections. I do not want to compare projectors here, so the projector stays the same and only the projection material changes. The distance between the window and the projector measures 1 meter and 75, and the size of the projection surface measures 68 centimeters by 1 meter and 8. The camera, which is outside the window, has a distance of 3 meters. Furthermore, I have set up an artificial light source outside the window so that the test is not done in a completely dark environment. For me, the test is not so much about the color accuracy of the projection, because the colors are usually distorted a little when recording with the camera. I am more interested in the quality of the projection itself. So now you know my test setup. And off we go to the material test. For this test series I have chosen the following materials. The Atmos FX window projection material, the Atmos FX solution material, simple construction foil, transparency paper, Shower curtain in white, self adhesive window film, the fabric ditto from IKEA in white, the bed sheet Taqualmo from IKEA in white, simple curtain fabric in white, the curtain Hilia from IKEA in white. The fabric ditto from IKEA in black and the curtain hilia from IKEA in grey. And to make it easier for you, I put timestamps in the description of the video so you can jump back and forth in the video very easy. The original Atmos FX window projection material is made of 100% polyester. The fabric is very finely woven, it is washable, not stretchy, not transparent and the color is white. 
I bought the XL version here and the size is 1 meter and 67 by 2 meter and 74 which is 5.5 by 9 feet. The edges are sewn around and have eyelets let in which can be used to attach the material. When you get it from Atmos FX the material comes as a set together with adhesive hooks. As you can see the quality of the projection is very good. The image is bright and clear and nothing is washed out. The small spot of light from the projector shows that there is very little scattering of light in the material. However, the lighting from the outside makes the material a little visible and there are also a few wrinkles from folding. Otherwise, this material provides a smooth surface if you attach it to the window neatly. In the picture with the unicorn you can see that the light areas shine very intensively. But you can also see the details in the darker areas at the bottom edge of the picture very well. The Atmos FX solution material is a strong, robust material. I cannot tell you exactly what it is made of, but it looks like kind of chiffon fabric. It is stretchy, has a grayish green color and is similar to a fine curtain. So if you light up the room behind it, then you can see through the material just you would like with a normal curtain. The edges are sewn around and there are eyelets embedded, which can be used to attach the material. The Helution material comes as a set along with adhesive hooks from Atmos FX. I've been using it for 4 years now and it measures 1 meter and 67 by 2 meter and 74 which is 5.5 by 9 feet. Due to their coarser structure and darker color the projections are darker and not as finely resoluted with this material. However, there are no washed out edges and the image itself is clear. You may want to use a stronger projector with this material. I usually use a projector with at least 2500 ANSI lumens when working with the Hallusion material. The light source from the outside has no impact on the visibility of the material and it still appears almost invisible. The picture of the unicorn also shows once again that the image is relatively dark. The unicorn itself is very clear visible However, details in the darker areas of the image are hard to see. The construction foil from the Hotbus door is made of LDPE. The material is slightly milky, transparent and in my case it has a thickness of about 0.1 mm. The foil is very robust and is available as a roll with a width of 1 m and a length of 50 m and it can be unfolded to a width of 2 m. To attach the foil to the window simple adhesive strips can be used or you build an additional frame to which you attach the foil. The image of the projection is clear and bright. But you can see from the light point of the projector that there is scattering of the light within the material. This is also reflected in the quality of the projection. With my foil the images look a little washed out. Furthermore, there may be a reflection between the window pane and the foil resulting in a double image. However, this can be easily corrected by sticking the foil directly onto the window pane and not into the frame. Due to the fact that the foil comes folded on a roll, Depending on the size of the window you must expect to see the fold in the foil. The light source has only a small impact on the visibility of the foil. Depending on the viewing angle you can see the foil as a surface when you look closely. In the picture with the unicorn you can clearly see that the areas where you look directly on the projector are over illuminated. Furthermore the details in the darker areas are very hard to see here. So when setting up the projector you have to pay attention to where the viewers are standing so that they don't look directly at the projector.
The transparency paper or tracing paper is more known from the tailoring. It has a weight of 50 gram per square meter, it is white, slightly transparent and opaque. In my case I bought it as a roll with a width of 90 cm and a length of 20 meters. Adhesive strips can be used to attach the paper to the window, which makes it very easy to set up. At the same time, this is a problem, because you have to be careful not to tear the paper when removing it. The image of the protection is bright and even, but the colors look a bit pale here. The light spot of the projector is not visible here at all. Instead, the light is distributed very evenly over the entire surface of the paper, which creates an evenly lit projection. The image on the surface is therefore uniformly bright everywhere. However, the light source in front of the window makes the paper a bit visible and thus light from the outside has a relatively large impact on the visibility of the projection surface at this point. At the three windows you can see the difference between the windows very clearly. In the picture of the unicorn you once again can see how evenly the projection is illuminated. The bright areas are not over illuminated and the details in the darker areas are also very good to see here. The direct view at the projector doesn't play a role here and thus the projector can be aimed directly at the paper and does not disturb the viewers. The shower curtain is made of 100% polyester. The fabric is very finely woven, opaque, washable and the color is white. Since the curtain normally hangs in the shower, eyelets are embedded in the upper edge. And furthermore, rings are also included in the set of the shower curtain and so you could also use that for mounting it as a projection screen. The shower curtain I brought measures 1,80 m by 1,80 m. The image is clear and bright and the colors are strong. The light is evenly distributed over the entire surface, which gives us an even lit projection. The light spot of the projector is not visible and therefore doesn't disturb the audience when the projector shines directly on the surface. However, the light source in front of the window makes the shower curtain visible. Thus, light from the outside has a huge impact on the visibility. Since the shower curtain is usually folded for transportation and storage, you may have to pay attention to the folds. Here you should hang the shower curtain before using it to smooth out the wrinkles. In the picture of the unicorn, you can see once again how evenly bright the illumination is. Bright areas, but also the details in the darker areas are very well visible and nothing is over illuminated or too dark. This window film is a vinyl film. It is matte with a slight mosaic structure making it milky and opaque. I bought the window film on a roll with a width of 90 cm and a length of 2 meters. The attachment of the film is relatively simple. With the set you get a squeegee and with a little water on the window, the window film is very easy to attach. And just as easy it can be removed once again from the window. The light in front of the window has no effect on the visibility of the film. It is almost invisible. The image of the projection is bright and clear, but due to the mother X structure the image looks a bit blurry here. There are always small areas where the light is reflected unfavorably from the viewer's perspective, which then can lead to false colors. Generally, the light of the projector is scattered and reflected by the structure of the window film in the material itself. In the case of my window film, this leads to a very uneven distribution of light in the projection. You can see this very well in the picture of the unicorn. 
The area where you look directly at the projector is very bright and over illuminated. And further out, darker areas come up. However, you can still see details in the darker areas of the image itself. If you have a window with a window film at home, you can still use it from my point of view, as long as there is no other pattern in the film. The fabric ditte from IKEA is made of 100% cotton. It is washable up to 60 degrees Celsius, can be put in the dryer and can be ironed. It is a fine woven fabric, it is opaque and the color is white. The fabric itself is available by meter with a width of 1 meter and 40. For the attachment you have to think about something here. In my case I stick to double sided tape to attach the lightweight fabric to the window frame. The image of the projection is bright and the colors look vivid. There is no scattering of light in the fabric itself and also the light spot of the projector is very small here and hardly scattered. Also, the light is distributed very evenly over the entire surface and if the fabric is not wrinkled, it can be attached as a smooth projection surface. All of this together makes for a very good quality projection. However, the light outdoors has a negative impact and makes the fabric a little visible. In the picture of the unicorn, you can once again see the evenly illumination of the projection surface. Bright areas are clear and the details in the darker areas of the image are also visible very good. The Bechi Takvalmo from IKEA is a mixed fabric of polyester and cotton. It is washable up to 60 degrees Celsius, can be put in the dryer, can be ironed and is opaque. The color is white with a slight yellowish tint, I would say possibly towards ivory. In any case, it is not a pure white. The structure of the material is very tight but is rather loosely woven. The bed sheet has a size of 90 cm by 2 m and has rubber bands sewn into the edges. Due to these rubber bands, the attachment is a little difficult. Possibly you should cut through the rubber bands or cut them out. Otherwise, the fabric can be attached very smoothly on the window. The quality of the projection is good, the image is clear and bright and the colors look good. The light from the projector is evenly distributed over the surface and hardly scattered in the material. You can also see this very well in the light spot of the projector. It is visible, but hardly disturbs the view of the visitor. The light source in front of the window has little impact on the visibility of the material. This is partly because it is not a pure white, but also because of the rather loose structure of the fabric. You can see the loose structure again in the picture of the unicorn. The image doesn't look quite as well resoluted, but the projection is evenly lit. Bright areas of the image, but also the details in the dark areas are very well visible here. For the curtain fabric I took a leftover from a normal curtain. The fabric is washable and it is a coarse fabric with a grid of about 1 by 1 mm. You can safely put this fabric on a par with tulle. The color is white, but the fabric is not opaque. If a light is turned on behind it, you can look through here as you often know it from the normal curtains. The coarse structure of the material is reflected in the quality of the projection. There is hardly any scattering of light, but due to the coarse grid of the material, there is only a little surface for the projection. This makes the projection look very dim and a little dark. 
the light simply has too little material here to create the image. Nevertheless, the colors themselves are very strong here. The light from the projector is visible, but it is only a small point of light that is hardly scattered. The light in front of the window does not affect the visibility of the curtain here. It is almost invisible to the viewer, which is of course very good. With the unicorn you can see this very well now. The light is distributed evenly over the surface, but the image itself looks rather dark. Bright areas can be seen very well, but the details in the darker areas are lost here and are barely visible. Curtain Hillia from IKEA is made of 100% polyester. It is washable up to 40 degrees Celsius, can be put in the dryer and can be ironed. It is a fine fabric, the fabric is opaque and the color is white. The curtain comes in a set that consists of two curtains, each measuring 1 meter and 45 by 3 meters. Due to the fact that this is actually a finished curtain, loops are soon on in the upper area, which could be used for attachment here. The projection itself is very good. The image is bright and clear and the colors shine. The light distributes very evenly over the surface, that's why the projection looks very good. The spot of light from the projector is scattered a bit in the material, but it does not disturb or blind the viewer. The light in front of the window makes the curtain a little visible, because of the white color. However, since the curtain forms a very smooth surface, this is only slightly noticeable. On the picture of the unicorn you can see the even distribution of light very well. The entire image of the projection is illuminated. Bright areas are not over illuminated and can be seen very well. And the details in the darker areas are also very good visible here. The fabric ditto from IKEA, like its counterpart in white, is made of 100% cotton. It is a finely woven fabric and the only difference is that the color simply is black. Otherwise this fabric can also be washed and ironed. Due to the black color a lot of light get lost here and the projection is very dark and hardly recognizable in some places. All this doesn't have to be negative. There may be projections where such effects are intentional. The light like itself is hardly scattered, which in itself is very positive. And in places where you can see the projection, the image is clear and not washed out. It might be necessary to test it again with a stronger projector. Also the black color ensures that this fabric is invisible to the viewer, although there is still a light source shining from the outside on the window. This is a big advantage too. The picture of the unicorn shows it again very clearly. Only very bright areas of the image are visible. In areas where the viewer is not looking directly at the projector, nothing can be seen at all. Even the green color in the upper right area of the image is hard to see from this position. Dark areas are therefore completely lost and are not visible. The grey curtain Hillia from IKEA is made of 100% polyester like its counterpart in white. It is also washable, can be ironed and is also available as a set of two curtains. 
The size is also identical with 1 meter and 45 by 3 meters. The only difference is the gray color here. The image of the projection is clear and the colors are vivid. The gray fabric makes the image look a little weak. Otherwise, the projection is good and neatly resolved. There is hardly any light scattered from the projector here and the projection itself is also evenly illuminated. Only dark areas in the projection can become problematic. Because it is a curtain, the fabric hangs very smoothly, which makes for a very good projection surface. The curtain also remains almost invisible to the visitor, despite the light source from the outside. So, it really looks like the projection is on the window pane. You can see all this again well in the picture with the Unicorn. The Unicorn itself is very well visible, bright areas don't overshine, are very clear, but in the darker areas the details get a little lost. I think it's worth experimenting using a stronger projector to see the darker areas better with this material. That was a lot of information and I hope I could show you some differences by using the materials. As always, it is difficult to evaluate such a test series because depending on the use, one or the other material can have an advantage or a disadvantage. For this reason, I will briefly go through the most important points before I show you my personal top 12. First point is the visibility of the material for the spectators. The illusion material has the edge here because of its grey color as it is almost invisible in the window. But the black fabric and the grey curtain from IKEA are also only slightly inferior to the illusion material in terms of invisibility. All other light fabrics are more or less visible due to the artificial light outside. Here the simple curtain and the construction foil still have the lead compared to the white fabrics. In general, however, I can say that folds in the material ensure that a material is more likely to be seen than if it hangs smoothly. And keep in mind, the darker it is outside, the less visible the materials are, but they will probably never be invisible. And the second point is the quality of the projection. First of all, all tested materials could be used for projection. There was no material among them that was not suitable at all. Only the black material has limitations. If necessary, we would have to test it again with a stronger projector, but as it looks in the test with the ViewSonic M2E, the dark fabric can only be used to a limited extent. Otherwise, there are slight differences in the projection quality. For example, with the construction foil and the window film, the images look slightly washed out because the light scatters in the film. The illusion material from Atmos FX has a good image quality, but due to the dark design the images appear darker here than with the light materials. If we now go by the illumination of the image, that is how evenly bright the image is on the window, it looks like this. With Atmos FX window protection material, the shower curtain, the transparency paper, the fabric data in white, the bed sheet and the window curtain Hilda white, the illumination of the image is very even across the surface. With Hallusion material, construction foil, the window film and the curtain fabric, the illumination of the image is not quite as even and darker areas are in particular lost. You can also clearly see how strongly you can see the light spot of the projector. However, this was intentionally placed here so that one has a comparison. Here you can see that the Atmos FX window projection material and the fabric data white from IKEA, only a small spot of light can be seen while with the shower curtain and the transparency paper, no point of light can be seen at all. With all other materials, you can see a spot of light more or less strongly and with the construction foil and the window film even very strongly. But as I said, this could be corrected by the position of the projector. 
Now we finally come to my personal ranking for materials in the area of window projection. And there it looks as follows. Place number 12 goes to IKEA Fabric Data Black. Place number 11 goes to the Curtain Fabric. Number 10 goes to Atmos of X Halusion Material. Number 9 goes to IKEA Curtain Hilliard Grey. Place number 8 goes to the Window Film. Could be due to the design I used. Place number 7 goes to the Construction Foil. Number 6 goes to IKEA Bedsheet Taqualmo. Place number 5 goes to IKEA Curtain Hilliard White. Number 4 goes to the transparency paper, I will explain why in a moment. The third place goes to Atmos of X window projection material. Second place goes to IKEA fabric data white. And the first place goes to the shower curtain. The places 1 to 5 are nevertheless very close together and could be theoretically also equal on. A short explanation why the transparency paper is on the fourth place. Although the image is better than with the Atmos FX window protection material and the fabric data white, the reason is the reusability. The paper is relatively tear resistant, but you have to be careful when storing it that it doesn't crumble. And you have to get it off the window accident free without tearing it. And that is why I'm only giving it the fourth place here. Otherwise, the shower curtain and the transparency paper would surely share the first place here. As I said, this is my personal ranking. I will certainly use the shower curtain, the fabric did white or the grey curtain hilia from IKEA in my next projections because I can easily store and also clean these materials. Especially the fabric ditto and the grey curtain hilia can also be ironed and that gives me a smooth projection surface. Whether you can also iron a shower curtain, that would be interesting once, but maybe you have already ironed a shower curtain or the construction foil. If so, please tell me about it in the comments. So, we have reached the end of my big test of projection materials for windows. I hope I could help you with this test series and you can find a material for window projections more easily now. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have questions or suggestions, please write them down in the comment sections. But don't forget to hit subscribe, so you don't miss any of the further updates here on my channel. For today, I say thanks for watching, until next time and stay healthy.